Westminster Abbey is perhaps one of the most iconic and historical places in the city of London and is utilized by the crown during coronations of its kings and queens. It was St. Edward, king and confessor, who initiated the presence of Benedictine monks in the 11th century, and the present church was built in the 13th century. Benedictine monks once graced the cloister walk with their prayerful presence, the chanting of the divine office, and the celebration of the Holy Mass. In the 16th and 17th centuries during the Reformation and dissolution of monasteries in England, the Benedictine monks would leave Westminster Abbey. Today, the Abbey Church is visited by tourists and for all intents and purposes serves as a museum to English heritage and a graveyard for more than 3,000 individuals, including kings and queens, such as King Henry III and his son King Edward I, the tombs of Queen Elizabeth and Queen Mary I, and King Henry V, to name only a few. Other famous people of history, like Charles Darwin, the father of evolution, and Sir Isaac Newton, also are entombed and remembered. St. Edward the Confessor, responsible for the beginnings of Westminster Abbey, has a shrine that, due to the ancient age of the floor near his tomb, cannot be visited by ordinary tourists and pilgrims without a special pass. Perhaps a consolation is the ability to leave a petition to be entrusted to the saint's intercession and remembered twice daily at his tomb. Catholic visitors will appreciate the Lady Chapel, where the Mother of Jesus is honored. While many pass by simply for the photo op, this chapel is one of only a few places in the Abbey conducive to prayer. For English history enthusiasts, don't miss the coronation chair housed near the exit of the Abbey Church. And finally, remember to pray for peace at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Visitors to Westminster Abbey will appreciate the beauty of this house of God and its history. They will walk through centuries of English history, paying tribute to the past and taking with them the experience for the present. May God grant to the living grace, the departed rest, the church and the world peace and concord, and to us sinners eternal life a prayer fitting for Catholic and Protestant alike.